This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so ASAP Rocky on this track, he, I, he was not talking about Rihanna, I guess. I was like, he smashed first. How is that possible? Like, he came in the game after Drake. ASAP Rocky said he smashed Drake's baby mom first. Sophia, whatever. What, what's uh, Drake's baby mom's name? Drake's baby mom. I don't know her last name. I know it's Sophia, right? Sophia Brazil. Brazil. Sophia Brazil. He says, I smashed before your birth son. Now, he's only saying this because Drake really, like, was talking greasy about Rihanna and ASAP Rocky on For All the Dogs. Uh, Drake dis Rihanna all the dogs on uh what song was it oh it was on four wasn't it uh, drake is still crying about rihanna seven years later we're tired that's what people were saying in here it's on is it on uh damn what song was that but he's right about one thing for all the dogs came and went right let's see uh Drake dissed Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, on, and that only means one thing. It still hurts him enough to disgrace himself to the public for six years. I didn't think I'd ever say this out loud, but Drake, you flopped. Drake, you still crying about Rihanna. Yeah, it wasn't oh, it was like the, on fear of heights. Oh, yeah, fear of heights he did. Now, here's the thing. It did come and go because nobody's talking about it anymore. They're, they're moving on to... to other projects and stuff like it's not it there's no it's not a classic album i hate to say it but it's not you know it's true it's not a classic album um now aesop rocky shouldn't be speaking though aesop rocky last album what was the last album? testing may 2018 you haven't dropped in six years bro you dropped something with Rihanna during the past couple of years, or she was in the video, and that came and went. So that wasn't a good tactic to go, but I don't I don't assume say is going to be a good diss rapper. He's just he's gonna go for the cheap shots. Just like but Drake was going for cheap shots too. Let's let's be honest, okay? Drake Drake was dissing um a married woman with her kids, you know? So fear of heights. Oh, they don't have a breakdown, huh? I hate it when they do that. This is genius. Fear of heights. Okay, here it is. All right. So where's the part where we diss Rihanna? Come call them a G wagon to the May bag. Uh, some way baby converted. How can you keep it a buck if you ain't got no bucks? What's he talking about? Uh, for the plane, she got a. <clears throat> And she got a lot of these. Let's see. The chain is on her neck in the A. Well, uh, we broke this down before, but. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He might take you on trips and he might have some of hits, but baby, not more than me. He might be at the trap and order some ones. Okay, let's see. Uh, spending money for one of me. Yeah, he, he, there was two songs where he dissed Rihanna. I do remember that. Anyways, ASAP Rocky was justified in that. Then the weekend, right? So the the person he's talking about is Baca. The shooters making TikToks. Baca, they they already surfaced that Baca was making TikToks. <laughs> it's hard to take someone seriously when they they they're making TikToks. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is your shooter. Oh yeah, here it is, right here. Baka not nice making TikToks with with uh female fans. And the weekend, why is he dissing Drake all of a sudden though? Why is everyone just forming against Drake? Something must have happened behind the scenes we have no clue about. Okay? That's Baka on uh TikTok. That makes sense why Nav unfollowed. There's just a energy out there. Now J. Cole, we'll get to that in a second. J. Cole has clowned himself here because 
he was all like, oh, take that. I'm taking that diss off my album. I'm ashamed of myself for doing seven minute drill. And now you're on Future's album. You're on Future's album on Red Leather. What was this your plan all along that like, you know what? I'm going to go against Drake, too. Like, yeah. Because just you being guilty by you're guilty by association. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. And you could you could have said, nah, I don't put my verse on that. I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. If everybody's feeling an energy that uh, still <clears throat> we still don't trust you and we don't trust you is going at like it's people forming against Drake. Why would you take part in that? You're a clown now, J. Cole. It, J. Cole, why did you get involved in this? Why did you why did you even respond to Kendrick? You should have let Drake do it. Kendrick wasn't didn't want to hear uh he didn't want to hear from you. Kendrick wasn't like, I can't wait to get Cole. He wanted to get under your skin. He wanted to go toe-to-toe with Drake, though. J. Cole was a great rapper, but all that talk from the past couple years that he's the best and he wants it with anyone, anyone challenging him, and now you can't even, when you get challenged, you can't even perform. It's, it's sad, bro. Like, and you want, yeah. anyways, we'll leave all this here. I appreciate you guys. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.